and like I said, this is part two. Um, yeah, but like I was saying, the only two guys that really give him credit for beating him while they were in their prime was Mirko Krokop and the Noguera. You know, um, other than that, you know, Fedor, you know, he hasn't really faced top competition, period. You know, he's a great fighter, and I do believe he had a chance while he, while he was in his prime of beating some of the best. But we're never going to find out now. I do believe Fedor is not the same fighter, but he is still a great fighter. You know what I mean? Fedor's a lot more sloppier. He's always been a sloppy slugfish fighter. You know what I'm saying? A pit bull. But he's even more sloppier now. You know what I'm saying? But he hits a lot harder, if you ask me. Fedor has developed a, a very strong punch over the years. But that's all he really has is the chance to knock somebody out, you know, now. You know what I'm saying? And, um... You know, he gasses a lot faster than he used to, uh, you know, if you ask me, I, you know, um, if you ask me, he gassed kind of fast in the uh, Rogers fight. But like I was saying, um, back to the topic here, you know, I feel that Fedor much rather lose to a guy and act like he got submitted that way. Just put it like this, okay. Fedor would much rather be submitted then get his ass kicked. You know what I'm saying? Then he get beat up. A chance of getting KO'd, knocked the fuck out in front of everybody, beat down. Okay? Because that's a chance he's taking by getting there with a big beast like Overeem. Okay? Even though Overeem has been knocked out in the past, Fedor has a uh, he has a great chance of knocking him out as well. But I don't think Fedor and his management are willing to take that chance and gamble on, well, you know, destroying his perfect record. His used to be perfect record anyways. But this is the thing. Okay. I think Fedor started thinking he was like, listen, okay, look, I don't want to have anything to do with Overeem. Okay. Overeem's too big, he's way too strong, he might be on steroids, they can't prove it. I'm gonna get hurt if I get in there with that big ass monster. Period. So he feels if I if I take a loss to to Verdum, if I fake a loss, I won't have to fight. Overing, but if I win, I'll have to fight him because if I don't, people are gonna know I'm scared. They're gonna know I'm running, and they're gonna know I'm avoiding the top competition. Okay, but if I lose, I can set up another fight because I have one more fight left on my stri strike force contract. I can set up another fight between me and Antonio Bigfoot Silva. I could fight him, and the option whether I want to retire or not is out there on the table. Because guess what? I'll retire if Overing beats Verdun. But if we're doing just so happy, you know, some way beats, if uh, Fabricio beats Alistair Overeem again in some, some, some sort of, you know, he figures some way out to do it, Fedor can say, hmm, I can avenge my, my loss that I didn't really lose, and I could beat the shit out of Fabricio and retire the, the Strike Force heavyweight champion. But, you know, like I say, styles make fights. You know what I'm saying? And, um,. I don't really honestly think that Fedor is trying to avoid Overeem as well as avoiding some of the guys in the UFC making up excuses why he doesn't want to go there. You see what I'm saying? Fedor is a great fighter, and I will always like Fedor, period. I will always be a fan, but the fact is here, Fedor has been avoiding top-level competition. Now, if that fight was real tonight, I'm going to give it the benefit of the doubt. Then congratulations to Fabrizio. Like I say, he had no, you know, no, no idea Fedor was going to go in there and, and jump right into his guard. You didn't think that was strange, Fedor? I know Fedor's a wild fighter, but come on. Fedor jumped right into his guard. And, you know, when he got he got out one time, he could have actually pulled away and made the fight get back to the feet. He knew he didn't have Fabricio hurt enough to jump on him and stay on him like that and try to finish him. You know, the smarter thing, the Fedor I know would have backed out and, you know, stood back up. Or kicked him a little bit, you know, while he was on the ground in his legs until the referee stood it back up and did get back into another slugfest and try to KO him. Fedor was trying to get submitted because he wanted to lose. He did not want to fight Overeem. Overeem is a hungry monster, a hungry beast. He wants to be the first guy to knock out Fedor or, or beat his ass or whoop him any way he can take him. He'd rather get submitted than get beat down. That's the way I see it. If he loses, he can fight somebody else and retire. And if Fabricio beats Overeem, he can rematch Fabricio, beat the shit out of Fabricio, and retire either way it goes. He doesn't have to fight a big-ass monster like Overeem. You let me know what you guys think. Does that make sense to you? It makes a hell of a lot of sense to me. I could be wrong, but that's the way I see it. Hope you guys enjoyed the fight, and I hope you enjoyed the video. Please rate and subscribe. Until next time, peace.